Hello, this is Santa out here, and welcome back to another Kamen Rider Dragon Knight review. Today we'll be looking at the Dragon Cycle with Dragon Knight, and the Wing Cycle with Wing Knight. These are two reviews that I have been meaning to do for a long time. I'm sorry it took 13 years. Let's finally do this. It's Morphin Time! So it's been a very long time since Kamen Rider Dragon Knight aired, and I apologize that I never reviewed these two bikes. I definitely got them back in the day. Uh, I think I mentioned that I saw a bunch of them at my Toys R Us when I got the Advent Cycle, and that's why I didn't pick them up initially. And then for some reason I picked them up later, but then just never reviewed them, despite having reviewed every other Wave 1 Dragon Knight toy. So I thought, let's get back to it. It's the 13th anniversary of this channel, so I figured, hey... Let's look at this. So if you enjoyed this throwback, be sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below and tell me your favorite Dragon Knight toy. But let's take a look at these things, because, uh, yeah, they're a little ancient at this point, but still pretty fun and unique. So here's the Dragon Cycle. Now, unlike the Advent Cycle, which was the ride shooter from Kamen Rider Ryuki, the Dragon Cycle is actually a unique creation for Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. So it's really nice to have a toy version of it. That being said, this is, you know, a 4-inch scale sort of vehicle, so it's not going to fit like your SH figure arts or anything in that size, but something smaller. I recently showed this off in my Soto Chronicle Ryuki Volume 1 review, where the Soto Ryuki can actually fit on the bike, which is totally a coincidence, but I think it's just cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it looks really nice. I always like the design of this. I like that Dragon Knight and Wing Knight being the main two riders got unique bikes to themselves. Something that Ryuki didn't give them until their survive forms. And I love the metallic paint. I gotta say, uh, even though this is, you know, 2009 Bandai of America, they gave it a really nice metallic paint sheen to it, uh, which is kind of surprising. It's, it's actually more like a paint uh, color you'd see on a car, more so, more so than a basic bike toy. So overall, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, you got a little kickstand here, which... If you have it like this, it's got that slight lean to it. If you kick it up like this, it'll actually balance out almost perfectly. And yeah, you can fold it away and it can roll as well as the motorcycle rolls because motorcycle. Now, unfortunately, uh, these are old enough. Uh, for whatever reason, I changed the batteries. I checked the connections. Nothing works. Uh, pressing this button would uh, normally illuminate these two sections of the bike, the front part and this part much like it did in the show, so you'd hold it down, the light would come on, and it's just, it's not working. Uh, tried taking it apart, tried looking inside, no luck on that, so I apologize, but uh, you can just kind of imagine these uh, just headlights lighting up. But yeah, so as a bike itself, pretty, pretty sweet. Now naturally, this being a 2009 Bandai of America toy, it came with a basic figure, this being a Dragon Knight in a riding pose. This is similar to the Blank Knight in a riding pose. Uh, ironically, I could not find my Advent Cycle to compare to this. Uh, so maybe we'll have to do like a Dragon Knight retrospective later when I kind of get all the things together. Uh, but you can see here it's actually not bad. Uh, it's not like the Ninja Steel bike figures for Power Rangers where they had zero paint. There actually is some painted detail on this guy, which is actually pretty impressive. And you compare him to the basic 4-inch uh, one, which I luckily still have around. Minus the extra paint details I filled in with some Sharpies. You know, he's not missing anything major. It's actually, I kind of like the visor on this one a little bit better because the uh, eyes are not as pronounced red there. But overall, I mean, not a bad bike figure at all. And of course, he can ride it. Uh, just, you know, clip his hands on. Boy, I haven't done a review where I've just sat here and played with the figure in a little bit. But there we go. So we've got that. We'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, the head is ball jointed as well, so the legs the legs pivot and the head is ball jointed, so you actually get them into a, a pretty decent riding pose, which looks really cool. Now, just like with the Advent Cycle, you do get three of these flame effects. They're the same ones that came with the Advent Cycle, and I think with the Advent Cycle, it's kind of like, all right, why do these exist besides just giving it extra play feature? I uh, kind of wish they lit up with the electronics. But I think that this is more so to replicate when in the show, Kit and Len, when they transformed while on their like personal motorcycles, they would transform into their specific bikes because that's kind of a similar 
effect there. You can see the bike almost balances out. Uh, almost. So you get kind of that effect going on. Uh, what's interesting to note as well is there's this random hole in the bottom, and that's because they did a two-pack version of this bike and the other bike that I never was able to find, and that had, I think, some kind of stand connection. But yeah, you can get this to, to roll pretty good, um, as in, there you go. So yeah, I mean, for the most part, I don't usually use the flame effects. I'll probably keep this thing on display just without them. But it did have a nice range of playability, uh, all things considered. So naturally, you do get a survive card, just like how Blank Knight's Advent Cycle came with uh, Wrath's survive card. This comes with Dragon Knight's. And it does work in the drag visor, which the fact that this still fits my arm either says that I have not bulked up my arm in the last 13 years, but my hand has gotten much larger. Anyways, uh, let's put it into the good old drag visor. And this thing hasn't been used in several years, so here it goes. Yeah, so, you know, generic sound plus sound effect. There you go. That's the sound it makes. And here's the wing cycle, which pretty much is the similar story to the dragon cycle. Really cool design, though. I actually, I actually think this one is probably my favorite of the two. Uh, just because it's got that like you know mixture of grays and blacks with golds. And I do love the wing knight symbol being on the seat. Kind of wish dragon knight symbol was on his seat. But pretty nice overall. I mean, it's got kind of... I think it's got a little bit of a sportier look to it. The dragon cycle's beefier, but this one's a little quicker and faster, which is pretty neat. Uh, I just love the fact that they gave them unique bikes for dragon knight. Because that was something that, I you know, Ryuki was lacking in. Now, it's also kind of uh, sad, too. Again, just like with Dragon Knight, I can't get the lights to work whatsoever on this, uh, no matter what I do. But it would light up blue. I actually think it was blue. It would light up blue here and then all throughout the sides. It looks really cool. But again, the electronics are just not working anymore. Um, not even sure if it's a corrosion issue or what. Uh, they're just toast. Um, but overall, I mean, pretty nice. Again, rolls, similar kickstand, similar port for something else uh, that I'm not totally aware of. Uh, just like with the Dragon Cycle, you can kind of position this to have it almost upright, which is pretty neat. Uh, just like with Dragon Knight, you get the Wing Knight figure, which again, isn't too badly painted in comparison to the basic one. There's a few paint apps missing, but it's honestly not bad. Uh, we've definitely seen worse Bandai of America bike figures, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, get this guy on the bike. Get his hands on them handlebars. Like that. And there you go. Wing Knight. Wing Cycle. Boom. And then just like Dragon Knight, you got Flame Effects, which again, totally feels like it replicates the transformation in the show. Uh, what's funny is that this is the plug, because these are universal, this is the plug that plugged into the Advent Cycle, whereas this plug plugs specifically into the Wing and Dragon Cycles. But they are all the same, like, effect part. Which, I mean, is cool. I mean, they, they did try to beef out, like, the possibility there. Um, they're like, hey, look, these are cool toys. Look at all the cool effects. So there you go. I mean, there's Wing Knight on his bike. Nothing more to say on that. And, of course, Wing Knight comes with his Survive card to round out the set. Which, by the way, I haven't shown it in this review. I love the backs to the Dragon Knight Advent cards. Uh, it's not exactly the um, the Ryuki ones, but they are different, and I like it. Uh, it's also funny because it does say 2009 Ishimori Pro. Uh, if we can get it to focus, there you go. Ishimori Pro, then Toei, then Adna. So, company that created, you know, and owns Kamen Rider, then the company that produces Kamen Rider, and then the company that produced the adaptation. Fun little, uh, you know, insider look there. But let's put it into the drag visor. Surprise, surprise, it makes the same sound as the other survive cards. And now that we have all three survive cards, you can see it makes the cool phoenix effect. What's funny about this is that this was not seen in Dragon Knight nor Ryuki. In fact, it wasn't seen until Rider Time Ryuki in 2019 as a Kamen Rider Geo tie-in. Or is that 2020? Either way, uh, there was a post-series special for Ryuki as part of Kamen Rider Geo's celebrations, and that's when we finally got to see this. But it's funny because both toy lines had all three of these cards like this, and that is just neat. Now, you can put the basic figures onto the bikes, but... 
in a strange twist of fate, they just don't look right. And I think it's because their elbows don't bend. So therefore, it doesn't make a natural pose. And their knees and their hips are just kind of weirdly placed. Like, it looks fine here, but you look at Dragon Knight here, and he's kind of like trying to straddle this thing all strange. And same with Wing Knight. I, it's just very bizarre. And uh, I kind of like the bike figures on them more than these. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a nice little throwback to the old days when I just kind of put toys in front of the camera and talk about what I knew. And, you know, it's kind of fun, kind of refreshing to do that. But we'll definitely be going back to the more professionally shot, uh, better camera angles, more analytical side of me next week, because those are the videos I think that stand the test of time a little better. But if you do want to see my old Dragonite reviews, they are on my channel. I'll link the Kamen Rider playlist at the end of this video. You can check it out. They'll probably be towards the end since I put the newest videos on top of the playlist. But honestly, I think that it was kind of fun to come back to this. And I may do something like this in the future uh, to celebrate other anniversaries. If you didn't have the chance yet, please check out my 13th anniversary short film, 13 Years, 13 Dreams. It went up this week on the channel, and I hope you will check it out because I worked really, really hard on it. And I wanted to do it as kind of a tribute to the legacy of this channel. And also be sure to check out Hero Club at hero-club.com, my awesome graphic designer on Twitter at darkclaw 643 And until next time, this is Sandout saying goodbye. <laughs>